This is Constance A. Dunn. Last week, I got on the couch with Nemanja Kuic, a.k.a. Hornsman Coyote, world citizen and musician. I had a list of questions. We'll see how far this gets us. The first one I, I wanted to ask is, is it lonely being a Rasta in Serbia? Because I've seen maybe one other person on the street. Well, to tell you honestly, it is. Because uh, as the balances of life are working and as, as the things are working, my philosophy is name your God, live a nice life, live a good life, Give good and you will receive good. And uh, for sure, things are going to work out fine for you. So being, being, being a Rasta for me is really an individual, my own self thing, because uh, I choose Rastafari as my, um, as my God, but it's only my choice. And this is, I name my God Rastafari, but I think that, Rastafari is not the god of all people. Mm -hmm. And all the gods, you need to choose just to name your god. But the principles of all the, all the faith are the same. You know, do what you do, what you do it will come back to you. So uh, there's not too many people in, involved in, 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 in philosophy and, 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 and Rasta over here. But reggae music has been loved. Mm -hmm. And, uh, By many non-Rastafarian people. Yes, and well, I cannot say for myself that I'm a Rastafarian, or I'm I'm a I can say for myself that I'm a follower of of, of Rastafari, because the Rastafari Rastafari made me who I am as as an artist, as a human being, and the philosophy of those people that I was learning from made me who I am the way I eat, the way I treat my lo beloved ones, the way I play music, the way I listen to music. And I'm not so so much into reggae music, I'm all, all over music. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yes, it's, it's been kind of lonely sometimes, because not too many people can, I cannot share everything with too many people, but it's kind of a good feeling, because all we, as Rasta, we bring his upliftment. Mm -hmm. When did you discover this about yourself? Uh, I was always looking for something spiritual in, in, in arts. Mm -hmm. And myself as a musician from, from my early age, I was brought, music was brought to me by my uncle. Mm -hmm. And you, you could hear my uncles uh, playing on, on Soya song. So, yeah, he... so, so he, he, he's kind of a famous uh, flute teacher mm -hmm. and a professor on the academy and he said to me, listen, I, I, I was so interested in music, I wanted to play some instrument, but he said to me, trombone is the right stuff for you. So he gave me trombone and I like it mm -hmm. from the first moment. <laughs> then I was involved with a reggae band, Thank you. with the local pioneers of reggae music over here. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was the man called Jovan Matic, who is my elder in, in, in Rastafari, I think, from the early days. Mm -hmm. He was the one who, who explained me. He was the first one. It, it took uh, years for me to, to get really on it. But he was the, uh, the first one who represented me, the Rasta culture, from, in its shape fully. And he gave me the, 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 he made cassettes for me, the compilations with music of Misty and Roots and Burning Spear. Mm. So I knew about reggae only through Bob Marley and Eddie Grant before. And even before that, I was a fan of Bob Marley, of course. Because it's something universal. And uh, when I heard the horns and, and this mystic vibe of reggae music that Burning Spear have, I found out that this is, this, this is my corner of music. This is, my, this is where I belong. Mm -hmm. So, Do you think that Serbia needs more music like yours? 
peace and, and uh, promoting peace and love and something like that? Or is it something you do just for personal reasons? Well, I think that peace and love is needed ev everywhere. And as we speak before, you know, there's not too much difference in life uh, in Serbia than in other countries. Mm -hmm. That's true. Simply you see the same things, the same good manners and the bad manners of the people. Mm -hmm. The only thing is that people over here need is to see much more, you know, foreign people coming. Or because by themselves they don't have opportunities to go out too much. And plus even now when the visa regime is uh, finished, people don't have will mm -hmm. to pay such amount of money to travel somewhere. Uh, for them, for them, go, is going abroad is something unknown. And Do they consider very, you? Very, the first steps are very hard. Do you, are you looked at as something very exotic by other people in Serbia? You think, like they see you and go, "Whoa!" What's... No, no, no. <laughs> the only thing is that I don't like is is is, is police uh, stopping me all the time or over searching or over, you know. And even though I'm a Rasta, I I don't abuse. I don't u abuse marijuana. Mm -hmm. I smoke it, but I don't smoke it for fun, mm -hmm. and I don't smoke it in public. So I'm getting yeah. tired of this part of thing because uh, you know this common everyday people. Yeah, it's as like I, as I told you, even my neighborhood, when the dreadlock guy moved into this neighborhood, they were looking strange at me. Mm -hmm. I said, "Who's this? Who's this? What is this? Junkie, junkie, junkie." Mm -hmm. But when they see I'm a normal person, I'm polite. I like to help. I speak normal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's you know, everything around my place is clean, I pay the bills, everything is all right. <laughs> so I say, okay, it's artist. <laughs> yes. So, step by step, as, 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 you, as, as I show the good, good sides of my pers person, personality, I get the same vibe in response. Mm -hmm. So it's like everywhere, even in, um, even in UK it's like that. I think those kids who are under influence of my music and the music of Jovan from Del Arno band, my first band that I was, mm -hmm. those are some nice kids that are giving good examples to, to, to other kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, by time that I see this dreadlock thing is going to be something more familiar to people than it was until now, because they see we are not some crazy, mm -hmm. uh, silly, junkie people who are wasting their time and living in their in illusion mm -hmm. because i see i think that what, what we are doing is very real and uh, the topics of songs we have are something attached is something attached to everyone i'm not singing about jar rastafari because it's my private thing and my god i name it and i praise it for myself uh, this is the, the, the thing that I don't like, for example, from this, you know, Jamaican reggae music turned out into this kind of strictly neglecting white culture things uh, and showing Rastafari as something that is strictly black thing. And, and it's that, that, that uh, has been happening last two decades that's what i knew it as actually that's and uh, it came finished. it came i don't want to blame the artist but it came with 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 the artists that are showed and uh, named themselves by bobo shanti bobo shanti is a is a the tribe of rastafarians who are living a certain uh, way of rastafari philosophy and liberty but in a way that preaching that this is strictly a black thing well, what twelve tribes of Israel and nine biggie that were they were in seventies and eighties. Uh, Bob Marley was twelve tribes of Israel. It was universal message of peace and love for each and every one. I stand for that kind of aspect and approach to Rastafari. And I'm more into that school, you know, old school of Burning Spear and Bob Marley and Peter Tosh and these people who stood Just for be cool and make music. Yes, who stood for. <laughs> for international struggle for human rights. To reduce, I refuse, so I choose not to lose, not a single day on Babylon crap, I'll wait for
So lately, you know, reggae is, is being misused by the people who would who would use another kind of music if reggae was not in in, in fashion at that moment. Yeah, it's 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 modified hip hop. First, <laughs> first hip hop came as a rebel with a cause, mm -hmm. but it turned out into you you as a, as, yeah, as yeah. someone it growing in the states. Yeah. You see that hip hop is it, it turned out into a brand. Mm -hmm. Of. But you're a bit of chameleon. You don't just do reggae. You also like drums and bass and dub and yeah, I'm into everything. Some rock and everything. Everything. I'm into rock a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, simply my 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 first band. In the same time, I played in reggae band in brass section. And in the same time, apart from that, I had a punk hardcore band. And the name of the band was Dead Ideas. And we were very devoted. And we had. Uh, we were functioning on the underground scene, so in, even in the beginning of the 90s, we, when it was impossible to go out from from Serbia mm -hmm. because of the visa regime and Milosevic and everything, mm -hmm. we used to have tours in Italy and France and Greece. How did you do that? Well, by by mailing. It was before email, before everything. We just send the, the letters and uh, promo tapes. God, and, like, and we were we, <laughs> like ancient history, yeah, yeah, yeah. ancient ancient moves. Yeah. And we were booked by uh, by squats mainly. Uh -huh. And it was punk hardcore underground. So I know the both sides of the story. And uh, you know, it was in, back in that days with we the people. What, what do you mean? Uh, by we the people, I mean that we were all together. You know, and uh -huh. reggae music was something that represented that kind of. Uh, movement. Mm -hmm. While these days reggae changed a lot. Mm -hmm. See a lot of it's, it's been fashion. It, because I I know a lot of Jamaicans, they react to it a little bit. If you know you know ex the exact way, like if everyone wants to be American and they cannot be, you understand mm -hmm. what, what I'm trying to say. Yeah. And Why? they get a little bit know, but... <laughs> they get a little bit allergic to that. So. So it's not that kind of spirit that reggae used to have when it was a thing that only chose by some uh, some people. Mm -hmm. Now when it's becoming fashion, you see the taste of people who are buying reggae records. It's really... You know, we have commercial reggae which I, I don't even have in my record collection. <laughs> what do you have in your record collection? I your have, favorite? Do you have a prized yeah. possession? I have, I have like 70s and 80s roots reggae music. And I like, from nowadays, reggae produced music, I, I like UK dub, UK roots and dub production. Ah, okay. Because most of the artists from Jamaica, from 70s, they moved to UK. And right now, most of them are resident in UK, so they work in the UK. And roots reggae, I mean, in, in, in his form as roots, is, is, is more established in UK than in Jamaica. In, ja in Jamaica, you have modified hip hop, which turned out into dancehall and uh, this gangster, Rasta gangster thing, mm -hmm. which is not connected. It shouldn't be Rasta wave behavior. Yeah, it's hard to to justify a Rasta rift when you're talking about shooting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And things like you that. have artists that, 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 that they're doing it just because of the style, mm -hmm. and they live very gangster like. They have armies around them, you know, armed people and this type of thing. Mm -hmm. But I believe that no music was made with bad intention. Uh, living in Jamaica, I suppose it's very difficult because those people need to be protected. If they get famous abroad, it's a little country and everybody's knowing each other. Mm -hmm. So they need to be protected and there's a lot of crime over there. So this, for example, Sisla must have an army around him because he's very powerful in music, but he's giving the straight message to the people, a right message. So I appreciate Sizla, for example, and Kate Tan, which are like the, the crowns of Bobo Shanti and Reggae, because these, these people should be an example of how the things should, of how the artists should behave. And then you have some other ones who are kind of gangster, gangster type of people who are not actually Rastafarians, they don't, they, 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 they don't even eat the way the Rasta is supposed to eat. How does Rasta eat? I mean, I know very little about the diet except what 